guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Dominique and I would love for you to join the Neek Neek Squad. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you turn on your bell notifications. That way you'll always know when I upload a new video. So for today's video, I'm super excited to be partnering with TGIN. Um, this is my first time talking about them over here on my YouTube channel, but I have done some work for them before um, over on my Instagram page. But yeah, I'm super excited for today's video. I'm going to be doing my curly hair routine. As you can see, my uh, hair is looking very parched, okay? So we need to revitalize this because... I ain't going nowhere looking like this. So yeah, I'm going to show you my curly hair routine using the products that they sent me. And I'm also going to be doing a full product review. Alright, so now I'm going to show you what they sent in the package. And it's a very large, heavy box. So let's dig in. So the line that they sent me is called the Miracle Repair X Collection. And it just says, your prescription for stronger, healthier hair is here repair restore revive all right so they sent me a total of five different products from their miracle repair x collection two of which i'm already familiar with and i really do love and that's their hair mask and one of them is the cpr treatment which stands for curl protein reconstructor and then their other one the hydrating mask is their deep hydrating hair mask and then they also sent the shampoo and conditioner and then we also have an anti-breakage serum they also do have a curl food styler product in this same collection and i've been using that as well um, which i really really love but i'm not going to be using it today i'm only going to be using the products that they sent me because i want to see how everything works together on its own so that's what i'm going to do so i can give you guys a full true honest review of just these products and like i said i'm already familiar with using both of the hair masks from this collection as well as the curl food hair styler so just for me using those and being familiar with those products i know that the rest of this line is going to have somewhat of the same kind of thing so this is not your average typical lightweight kind of products this is made more on the heavyweight side so it has more of a thicker texture and that's going to allow for deeper moisture and adding strength back to the hair strands especially for those with coily kinky hair but it's still not too heavy for those of us with fine or wavy kind of curls. So this is going to be beneficial to everyone regardless of your hair type. Oh yeah, and before I forget, I do want to mention that this brand is black owned by a black woman, okay? By Miss Christia Donaldson. So she created this whole brand and in particular this line of products after her own personal experience with some very harsh chemotherapy treatments. So yes, she created these products specifically specifically to bring strength back to your hair. So yeah, I'm about to hop in the shower so that I can shampoo and condition these curls, these very frizzy, dry, thirsty looking curls. I know y'all see it, but that's okay. We gonna fix it, okay? I'll be right back. All right, so first up is the Miracle Repair X Strengthening Shampoo. And this entire collection is formulated with black honey and coconut oil. So it just says it's an intensive restorative shampoo that helps to reduce breakage, prevent split ends, and repairs hair damage. So I'm going to be shampooing my hair twice because I felt like my hair needed it. It was a little bit dirty from my previous wash and go, but that's okay. So as you can see for this first shampoo, there's not many suds here, which I'm fine with because these products do not contain any sulfates. So I'm just rinsing that first lather out. And then on the second shampoo, you can see more of a better lather here. And I do want to mention that this shampoo shocked me. Like the feel of it, the texture of it, it kind of reminds me of a gel, but it's not. And I like how my hair still feels really soft even after rinsing my hair out. So once I got my hair all clean, now I'm going in with the Miracle Repair X Strengthening Conditioner. And this is an intense restorative conditioner. You guys, this feels really, really good on the hair. It has some amazing slip because as you can see, I'm only finger detangling my hair. Like I didn't need to grab my brush at all. And this shampoo and conditioner smells really good, y'all. 
So yeah, like I said, this entire collection is formulated with rich black honey, which is supposed to heal damage and provide shiny, bouncy curls. And then it also has hydrating coconut oil, which is supposed to smooth the hair cuticles, leaving your hair feeling soft and smooth. And these products are free from sulfates, parabens, lanolin, petroleum, mineral oil, and artificial colors, and it is cruelty free. All right, so I just got out the shower and my hair is all nice and clean and refreshed. All right, so moving on to the hair mask. The first one that I'm gonna use is the CPR treatment and that stands for Curl Protein Reconstructor. Get it, CPR? That's so clever. So this hair mask is infused with black honey and biotin. So it just says it's an intensive restorative curl protein reconstructor that helps to reduce breakage, prevent split ends, and repairs hair damage. Yes, I'm so glad I can smell because I've been just a little bit under the weather. No corona though, but I'm good. So since this is a protein mask, it is important that I read the directions. And like I said, I've already been using this, but in case you don't know, it says after shampooing with Miracle Repair X Strengthening Shampoo, apply a half ounce of TGIN Miracle Repair X Curl Protein Reconstructor to hair for maximum penetration. Cover hair with warm towel or plastic cap for three minutes three minutes and then rinse out so that's exactly what i'm going to do and then it says for extra deep conditioning follow up with the miracle repair x deep hydrating hair mask which is the one i'm going to use after this let's go ahead and get this on the hair i like to part my hair down the middle with my fingers and then apply it in like four quadrants <laughs> so yes i'm going to take some in my hands and start at the bottom. I'm gonna start at the bottom here, just rake it through with my fingers, adding more as I get closer to the top of my head. Make sure you get those napes back here. They need love too. And once I'm done, I like to do a very loose twist. And there we go. Move on to the next section. It feels really soft, you guys, and this product is really thick. So if you have thicker hair, you might need to use a little bit more. And if you have thin hair, um, just be, you know, careful with the amount that you put in, especially since this is a protein mask. All right, so I got all four sections with the CPR treatment in it. And I did bring it all the way up because I read that it's supposed to um, promote a healthy scalp and hair growth. So I'm just going to take some more on my fingers, rub it together, and just kind of like massage it inside the scalp. Well, not inside, but on top. <laughs> okay. So I feel like that's good enough. I probably used way more than half an ounce, but it's okay because I'm going to rinse this out very soon. So yeah, I'm going to take my little plastic bag here <laughs> and put it on my head just to let my scalp heat up. Now it doesn't really say on the back of the jar on how many times to use this product, but because this line is very intense, I know that I can't take a lot of protein treatments. So for me, I only use this product like maybe twice a month because um, that's pretty much all I'm comfortable with doing because my hair is very fine. Um, but if you have thicker hair strands, then you probably can take a lot more protein than I can. But just be careful and do your research. All right, it's been a few minutes now, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and jump back on camera. Okay, so I just completely rinsed out the CPR treatment and my hair still feels very soft. So if your hair feels crunchy or stiff or hard, you probably left it in for way too long. So I'm just kind of patting my hair dry with a microfiber towel because I'm about to go in with the next hair mask, which is the Miracle Repair X Deep Hydrating Hair Mask. So if your curls or your natural hair is just on the dry side and it just completely eats up everything you put in it and it just can't balance and maintain moisture, you are gonna love this. And it just says to uh, comb through and ensure that it's even distribution from roots to ends. Place the plastic cap over your hair and sit up on the, 
under the dryer for 10 to 15 minutes or you can leave it on your hair for 35 minutes to an hour and this is also a very thick product and this is a brand new jar the one that they sent me i still have ones downstairs um but yeah as you can see it's not falling out it's very very thick so i'm going to do the same thing and split my hair into four sections so that i can apply this more evenly so i'm gonna take a generous amount of this and work it all throughout my hair again starting from the bottom and going all the way up to my roots and you really really want to saturate your hair with this especially if your hair is a lot thicker you're going to need to use more again get that kitchen back there no strands left behind people and make sure you work it all the way down to the ends you want it to look completely saturated. You see that conditioner? Yeah, you want it to look like that so your hair can absorb it. Oh yeah, and make sure you do this on like kind of damp hair. You don't want your hair to be dripping wet for this part because you want your hair to absorb more of the product than the water. That way your hair is getting what it really, really needs. The water is just there to help it you know pass through and penetrate but you don't want to like have your hair super super soaked you know with water soak your hair with the product and what I like to do is poke a few holes I don't do it every time but it just kind of helps the heat get in a little more all right so I'm gonna use my blow dryer and my soft hood bonnet attachment and deep condition for an hour and then I'll be back on camera before I rinse out just to show you the results. All right y'all, so I'm finally back after deep conditioning for an hour and I'm gonna remove this plastic bag off of my head and show you how well my hair absorbed this product. So if you remember when I applied the hair mask, I applied quite a bit that you could see it oozing out of my twist and you no longer see that because my hair absorbed it. And my hair feels so, so, so nice. And I always get the same results every time I use this product. Like this is a really, really good hydrating hair mask you guys sometimes i even leave this in overnight and then i rinse it out the next morning or maybe like a couple of days and then i'll rinse it out so yes this does a really 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 good job at replenishing the moisture back into my hair and another thing i like about this mask is that when i go to rinse it out you're still gonna smell it in your hair it lingers and i don't know about y'all but anything that smells good i want it to linger in my hair sometimes i even leave in a bit of the conditioner or hair mask not protein though but yeah i'll leave it in sometimes like just a little bit and it just lingers in your hair all throughout the week and it smells so 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 good so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this out really quickly and then i'll be right back all right so we're on the last step and again y'all my hair feels so nice and moisturized even with me rinsing out the deep hydrating hair mask and i did leave in just a little tiny bit of it since i'm not going to be using any stylers in this video the last product that i'm going to apply is the miracle repair x anti-breakage serum and it has some really nice oils and ingredients in here so there's coconut oil olive oil peach kernel oil, raw black honey, papaya oil, ginger oil, marula oil, jojoba oil, rice oil, burdock root, maca oil, vitamin E, and fragrance. So it says to use a dime size amount of oil to help smooth the strands and lock in moisture. Oh, and you can also use this as a hot oil treatment. So it just says to warm the oil in the microwave for 30 seconds allow it to cool for one minute and apply the oil to wet hair and cover with a shower cap for 25 minutes and then you can rinse it out and condition as usual but since i already did a pretty you know intensive job with um using two hair masks i feel like i don't need that right now but definitely next time i'm going to try that out it's not super thick it was watery i don't know if i showed you guys or not but 
it smells really 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 good so i feel like you probably do only need like one pump like if you do have um stylers in your hair but since i don't i did two pumps and it's a pretty good amount that came out so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply this and my hair isn't like super drenching wet okay i'm gonna take one more pump and i want to apply more to the ends of my hair just because my hair is a little naked but yeah it said on the website that this oil is supposed to smooth away frizz and flyaways so i think that'd be really good especially like if you're using a leave-in or like a, a moisturizing cream or anything like that you want to give it some extra you know protection so i feel like i applied a good amount you know given the fact that this is all i'm applying all right so this all the hair products and what i'm gonna do now is just allow my hair to air dry sometimes i'll go in with a diffuser if i'm being lazy but there's nothing else in my hair other than just a little bit of that hydrating mask and then this serum so i'm just gonna let it air dry while i go out and run errands and then i'll hop back on here all right guys so i'm back from running my errands and i think i've been gone for maybe like two or three hours and my hair is completely dry now disclaimer i know that it looks frizzy but please keep in mind that i did not use any styling products in my hair after i rinsed out the hair mask i only use the um anti-breakage serum and i'm going to bring you guys closer so that you can see my hair a little bit better i mean you do see a little bit of definition but that's because my curls were clumping together during the air drying process so i always like to unclump my curls because i feel like it makes my hair look thin and i like more big voluminous hair so that's why you see a little bit of definition there and yes in the front of my hair it's more frizzy than other places of my hair again because we didn't use any styling products but i mean overall i feel like my hair is very healthy it's rejuvenated it's very hydrated it's replenished with moisture and it feels strong so my overall thoughts did this line do as it claimed yes I feel like it did. Um, it claimed to provide deeper moisture and provide strength back to my hair. So like I said, my hair feels completely moisturized. It's super jam packed with hydration. Um, it feels really, really good. It may look a little frizzy, but we're going to ignore that for now because I didn't use any styling products on purpose just because I wanted to see how the products would work on their own. So with the shampoo and conditioner, I feel like these did a really, really good job. I was pleasantly surprised by the shampoo. It felt a little snotty and looked a little snotty, um, but it really did an amazing job. My hair didn't feel dry at all with rinsing it out. And then the conditioner, I didn't even have to pick up my detangling brush in the shower. That's how you know you have a really really good conditioner with good slip and then like i said i've already been using the cpr hair mask and the deep hydrating hair mask so i've already been fans of these two products right here now when it comes to the last product the anti-breakage serum it says it's supposed to um you know prevent frizz but i mean yes obviously my hair is frizzy because i didn't put any styling products in there so i'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt um, because of that reason, I'm going to definitely try this product again with this entire line and also use the curl food and then apply this serum to see if that helps with the frizz. So far, some of my favorite products from this line, of course, is the deep hydrating hair mask. This is like gold for me. And I will say that I was pleasantly surprised with the shampoo, like the texture of it, the feel of it, like it didn't leave my hair dry at all like my hair still felt very soft like even after rinsing out the shampoo and everything and i shampooed twice so i know this wash and go isn't going to last very long probably about two days if that so i think what i'm going to do in the morning to refresh my curls is to use some water and then apply a little bit of that curl food 
just to kind of maintain some of these flyaways and manage some of this frizz and then we'll be good to go. All right guys, so that pretty much wraps up this product review. Special, special thank you and shout out to TGIN for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love you guys. You guys are awesome. I love your products and I was super happy to get to try out some of the rest of these items. I think they also have like a leave-in conditioner in this line so I'm going to try to find it and you can find these products at your local Target or on Target.com. I'll make sure to link everything down below so you can check it out for yourselves. Also let me know in the comments if you've ever tried anything from TGIN. I would love to know what your favorite products are from this line. Please let us know and yeah I will see you guys next time. Bye!